No technical difficulties here, folks. Let's go, all right? So, um, all right. Thank you very much, huh? Liquid gold. Liquid gold, baby. Liquid gold. Let's take this off. All right, let's go around the clock. So, sausages. So, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Tony Sempek from Casales. I want everyone to raise their hand up. Love that man. Uh, I want to give him a shout out. He is definitely in heaven with his mom. And uh, let's all just be thankful that we know those people in our community. So thank you, Tony. We love you. Whew, can't start the day without that. So let's go. Sausages, salami, capicola, country pate, finocchiona, anduja, Milano, calabrese, mortadella, sweet Italian, spicy Italian, hot AF, uh, hot AF um, habanero. We didn't want to swear up here. Uh, Big Vinny, uh, the Brewer's Cabinet, shout out Beer Brats, which we made for a while, uh, Knockwurst, Bockwurst, Basque Chorizo, and Merguez, with, made with lamb. Not done. Copa, Lonza, Pancetta, Bacon, Guanciale, just a few of the things we make at Liberty Arms and Meats. Uh, it is definitely something that I've been doing for a long time. Probably got me in a lot of trouble over the years with uh, business operations. It's not the best way to make money. Uh, but it's a passion project and it's something that we believe in strongly. Um, how does that play into an NCET? Well, let me tell you, time, temperature, water, excuse me, time, temperature, water activity, pH levels, weight loss, and that means like if you put something in at three pounds and it comes out at one and a half pounds, you've had a 50% weight loss. You try to figure out those types of things to make sure that you can understand exactly when something is safe to eat and when it's not safe to eat. We're using time-tested, old school recipes, hand ground, using your hands to create things, using just skill, knowledge, smell, touch, feel, taste, plus some of this technology um, to help you make great food. And we're not taking great food and making it from like, you know, uh, anyone could take a pork tenderloin and make it taste good. That's what I believe. We use things that no one else wants. We use the shanks, we use the lips, we use the ears, we use the face, we use the different parts of the animal that no one else wants. Anyone can cook pork tenderloin, but can you turn something as awful as, you know, the, the, the nether parts and the things that people don't want into something that's delicious? We believe to say yes, and uh, it's kind of why and how Salume started and charcuterie started, okay? So we're really excited about that. We're really honored. Dave, thank you so much. Thanks for all this uh, uh, great thing about food manufacturing. Um, it's pretty cool. We don't really, we, we're artisan for sure because we don't really, we do everything by hand. Um, but the thing that I would always import everybody up here is with standing up here, there's, uh, we, we have some restaurants in our group also. And I just want to make sure everyone knows that supporting local restaurants is really important right now. Getting out safe is really important right now. Asking and understanding where your food comes from is really important right now. So I just want to say thank you to you all. Congratulations to all the winners. And uh, stay safe and have a great rest of your day. Ciao.